Looks like Florida. Hey, that <laughs> was right over my house. Hello everyone, welcome back to our final episode of Final Fantasy IX's video walkthrough. This is Captain Ron Phillips. Are you ready everybody? Here we go, we're not wasting time, no introductions. Crystal World, end of Final Fantasy IX. Here we go. Kuja! Nice of you to come. I'm surprised you beat the four chaoses that I created from the crystal's memory. But, you're too late. Take a good look. Isn't it beautiful? It's the original crystal. This is where it all began. The birthplace of all things. Once I destroy it, everything will be gone. Gaia, Terra, the universe, everything. Your lives and memories too, of course. <laughs> of course it will. Oh, shut up. The only thing that's going to be gone is you. I'll take you out right now. <laughs> you honestly think you can beat me? Even if you do, Gaia's already doomed. Its assimilation by Terra has begun, and the Aoife tree will incite a cataclysmic destruction of Gaia. It's all over for you and your friends. See? I win either way. It doesn't matter. Even if Gaia is assimilated, the planet will remain, and we'll start over to make a new home. Kuja, you're nothing but a coward. If you're going to die, leave us out of it. Why should the world exist without me? That wouldn't be fair. If I die, we all die. Zidane, you will be my first sacrifice. Oh boy. Goodness gracious, what is that? Death guys. Oh, let's see. We didn't. Oh. Not even gonna bother with stealing. This is the end of the game. Let's give him a doomsday. Holy smokes. Oops. I didn't know Doomsday was going to hurt me. My goodness. That was a big mistake, wasn't it, guys? Well, well, well. That's how you learn. Alright, sword art. I know this is gonna hurt. That's not very nice at all.
Hurry up, hurry up. Close? I don't think that's good. It's a twister! Level 5 death. Oh my goodness. Is anybody level 5? There went VV. My goodness. I forgot. That's okay. Okay. it for him. How did they beat death guys? Do you really think you can beat me? I got nothing for that. Oh, I can go back and save. Holy crap. That's an excellent idea. Here we go, guys. Come here, Kuja. I can't believe you beat death, guys. Well, my time is almost up. Time to die, everyone. Big guns. He's gonna use flare. Here comes the Flim Hazard. Eternal darkness. Oh, 
the ultimate summon in this game. Looks like Florida. Hey, <laughs> that was right over my house. It's a gun. <laughs> Seventy one ninety eight after all that. Oh my goodness. Flare Star. I don't know what that's gonna do, so I'm gonna do everybody. Blousers. Well, Dagger's gonna go. Yeah, she's gonna go in trance. Would you like a frog? Oh, he's gonna do Flare Star again. Crap. That's probably gonna kill Twin and Dagger. Dagger. Oh, frog drop. Ah, reflect. Oh, dang it. Here comes Holy. Dang it.
Ugh, I'm gonna die anyway. I won't have to be afraid anymore. But I'm not gonna die alone. You're all coming with me. Ultima. Oh, great. Kapui too. Ugh. That does not sound right. What happened to the crystal? Where is this? stand before the final dimension. I am the darkness of eternity. But who, who are you? All life bears death from birth. Life fears death but lives only to die. It starts with anxiety. Anxiety becomes fear. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. The only cure for this fear is total destruction. Kuja was a victim of his own fear. He concluded he could say only save himself by destroying the origin of all things, the crystal. What the heck are you talking about? Why are you telling me all this? Now the theory is undeniable. Kuja's actions prove it. All things live to perish. At last, life has uncovered this truth. Now it's time to end this world. What, what do you mean by that? I exist for one purpose. To return everything back to the zero world, where there is no life and no crystal to give life. In a world of nothing, fear does not exist. This is the world that all life desires. Who the hell do you think you are? You're not ending anything. Never. Not as long as we have the will to live foolish creature. Your fears have already deluded you. One day you will choose destruction over existence, as Kuja did. When he sought to destroy the crystal, the purpose of life ended. Now come, enter the zero world that you desire. No. We'll destroy you and prove you wrong. And through our memories, future generations will see that we can overcome any fear. We can't give up now. We have to fight together. Even if we lose, it doesn't matter. Our memories will live on inside others. So even if we're born to die, I'm not afraid. I'm gonna live. I'm gonna live! Let's get Momo in here. Let's give her a chance. These guys are staying. Don't screw up. Sorry I couldn't do anything. Good luck. Well, that's not true, baby. You did just fine. I leave everything in your hands. Sorry, Freya. I didn't really use you in this place, but that's all right. Accept my powers. Okay. 
see if we can keep um, Momo alive. Here we go, guys. The final battle. We've come too far to lose now. Let's just wrap this up and go home. All of us. Quinna and Momo again. Now he's gonna use the attack. Neutron ring. Why did you use a big move before I wake those two up? I hope. I don't know. We'll find out. Could be bad. Now Steiner's in a trance.
All right, come on, guys. Let's see what you can do. I don't know what this will do to him, if anything. Ooh, that was all nine. Got him. Why defy your fate? The will to live that powerful. like it, buddy. Oh, ho, ho. This is not the end. Yeah, well, until then, bye-bye, buddy. Look at what's happening. So, what Kuja said was true. The Aoife tree is beginning its violent reaction. What's going to happen? I don't know, but it doesn't look good. I doubt anyone could have survived that explosion. No. Oh. Captain... They are still alive. What? Where are they? Over there. The Hildegard is probably closer. You, the tall one. Sir, Hagen, Plut Pluto Knight 8, ma'am. I didn't ask for your name. Contact the Hildegard right away. Yes, sir, ma'am, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Please be alive. Sire, we're receiving a transmission from the Red Rose. Punch it up on the main line. 
This is the Red Rose. You're not General Beatrix. Who are you? My name is Mikoto. Everyone is alive. You are very close to them. What? How do you know? I can hear him. Who? Prepare to land immediately. That's the Hildegard 3. Looks like Sid came to rescue us. Sid! Thank heavens you're all safe. Come quickly, we don't have much time. Farewell, Zine. Aw, oh, damn it. What's wrong? Why don't you go on ahead? I'll catch up with you all later. I have to take care of something. What? He's still alive. He can't be. Zidane, what are you doing? Steiner, take care of Dagger. What? What? What, what do you mean by that? Kuja's still alive. I just can't leave him. This is ludicrous. Just because you two are from the same planet doesn't mean... No, that's not the reason. Come on, Zidane. Why are you doing this? Because... Because I might have done the same thing if I were in his shoes. I probably would have fought against you guys and wreaked havoc in Gaia like he did. I know it sounds crazy. But I know deep down inside I have to do this. You know Crazy Zidane. But you go help Kuja, not good idea. It's too dangerous. I can't just leave him. There's no way I could live with myself. I'm going. You're making a big mistake. Maybe. But we all have to make big decisions in life sometimes. For me, now's that time. I have to face up to it, just like Vivi did when he confronted his fears to find out about himself. That was a big decision for Vivi. I don't know about that. I don't think it was really a big deal. That's what you think, but I might not be doing this if it weren't for you. You've definitely taught me to take life more seriously. Well, you're obviously not going to change your mind, so I'm coming with you. The principle of knighthood requires that one assist his comrade in times of need. I shall accompany you as well. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Like I said, it's my moment, so don't butt in. You guys will have your own someday. Besides, you guys have more important things to worry about, like Bermesia and Alexandria. For once in your life, why can't you be honest? Sorry, but I can't. I can't just walk away. It goes against my nature. Huh? You're a real simpleton. Forget it, guys. There's no stopping this fool. What are you still doing out there? Get on board right now. Come on, let's just leave him and get out of here. That guy will never change. Alright, you heard the man. Get out of here before it's too late. Zidane, I love you. You'd better come back. Okay. Zidane, I eat more different food. I'm still hungry. You need to come back. Take me more places. Show me more food. 
Oh dear. I still can't believe you're doing this. You've changed the thing. Till we meet again. Zidane, you've taught me another big lesson in life. Thanks. Zidane. Princess, we must go. Dagger, I mean your highness. The abduction is over. I can't take you any further. I'm sorry for being so selfish. No, you're not being selfish. You've done so much for us. If it weren't for you, I probably would have led a meaningless life. With you, I was able to see so much of the world and meet so many people. We face many hardships too. But, I think I finally know what's important. I'm so fortunate to have met you. I'll never forget our trip together. We call it a trip? Thank you, Zidane. That's some vacation. Eat your heart out, National Lampoon. Promise me one thing. Please come back. Kuja, can you hear me? I'm coming to get you. You still have time. Forget about me and go. Just shut up and stay where you are. I don't understand you. Okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> He's just standing there smiling. alive. I guess that was pretty crazy. Hey, are you alright? Zidane. That's kind of a dumb question. Are you alright? What are you doing here? I thought I told you to go. Wouldn't you do the same for me if you knew I was dying? Hmm. 
Never mind. Your comrades were able to escape? Yeah. I knew you had something to do with it. I'm glad they made it. Yeah, well, it's our turn to get moving. I don't deserve to live after all that I've done. I'm useless to this world. No one's useless. You helped us escape, remember? After you guys beat me, I had nothing left. Nothing more to lose. Then I finally realized what it means to live. I guess I was too late. Uh-oh. Huh? Hey, don't you go dying on me, all right? What you did was wrong. But you all gave us one thing. Hope. We were all created for the wrong reason, but you alone defied our fate. We do not want to forget this. We want your memory to live on forever. to remind us that we were not created for the wrong reason, that our life has meaning. Hmm, that's nice. Sometime later. <clears throat> so this is Alexandria. Ugh. Pick up the pace, will ya? I don't believe it. Vivi. Vivi? How do you know that name? What are you talking about? It's me, Puck. How could you forget me? Puck? You know Puck? The, the, the Prince of Bermesia? Oh, come on. What's wrong with you? If you're not Vivi, then who are you? I'm Vivi's son. Yo! Look at all the Vivis. <laughs> I always talked about you, Zidane. How you were a very special person to us because you taught us all how important life is. Freya, you're leaving soon, are you not? Yes, I can hardly wait to see everyone. Alexandria, I went there many years ago. How long will it take to rebuild Bermesia? I don't care, as long as I'm with you. Oh, they fell back in love with each other. I love you, Freya. That's cool. Yet he still doesn't remember our past. Doesn't matter. I just want to cherish our time right now. <clears throat> you taught me that life doesn't last forever. That's why we have to help each other and live life to the fullest. Time to say goodbye to this room. Save the Queen, you have served me well. 
My duty is finished here. Farewell, Alexandria. Even if you say goodbye, you'll always be in our hearts, so I know we're not alone anymore. Oh. Hey. Why are you going to Alexandria? You're not going? I, I never said that. A anyway. Why was I born? How I wanted to live. Thanks for giving me time to think. Good now food not only delicious. Good food made with heart. This very important when cooking for friends. That's nice, Quina. To keep doing what you set your heart on. It's a very hard thing to do. We were all so courageous. Hurry, hurry. We gotta get there before the play begins. <laughs> There's no need to hurry. The theater ship is no match for my new ship. My new Hildegard is the fastest ship ever. Do I have to remind you? You said the same thing about that theater ship. <laughs> That's what you said, Father. Momo, what did you just call me? Darling, she called you Father. Father, Father, hurry. S say it again, Momo. <laughs> oh my goodness. What to do when I felt lonely. That was the only thing you couldn't teach me. But we need to figure out the answer for ourselves. Beatrix. Where are you going? Please don't ask. My mind is already set. Wait. Listen to me. And his heart's thumping. I, uh... I never wish to lose you again. Steiner? Let us protect the queen together. And she ran to him. I'm so happy I met everyone. I wish we could have gone on more adventures. But I guess we'll all have to say goodbye someday. All right, you scumbags, we're almost there. Been a long time since we saw Alexandria. Let's give them a show they won't forget. Yeah. Break a leg, people. Everyone, thank you. Farewell. My memories will be part of the sky. Leadership will arrive any minute. It's been so long. Yeah, it has. I can't wait to see everyone. But it'll never be the same. I have to let go of the past. Ah, uh, we'll see. I have to move on, just like he taught me. Yeah, you do. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's performance is a story that takes place long, long ago. Our heroine, Princess Cornelia, is torn from her lover, Marcus. She attempts to flee the castle, only to be captured by her father, King Leo. Tonight's story begins when Marcus and Cornelia decide to run away together. 
And now, Your Royal Majesty Queen Garnett, Lord Steiner, La Lady Beatrix, Navy, noble ladies and lords, and our rooftop viewers, we present I Want to Be Your Canary. Thank you, Tantalus. I stuttered too much, unfortunately. Marcus. Sweet Marcus, I fear I love thee more than I should. Princess, wilt thou be happy married to a lowly peasant such as I? Pray thee call me princess no more. Marcus, wilt thou truly cherish me as the king's only daughter? Or is such a desire too dear to wish for? After our neutrals, shall I become no more than a puppet? A mindless puppet, never to laugh, never to cry. I wish to live my life under the sky. At times I shall laugh, at other times cry. For no life is more insincere than a lived as a masquerade. Yeah, I can't keep up, it's going so dang fast. I shall swallow thee in a gown of pure love. Ah! Never again will I part from thee. Okay. Thank you, thy canary, to keep forever in the cage of my bosom. Oh, geez. Old Shakespearean. Let's get on the first boat tomorrow before anybody gets up. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not going through this. It's just doing this by itself. Love is the sweetest joe and the wa joy in the wildest woe. All well, I wish to be is by my sweet Marcus's side. All right, Blank, what you doing? Good day to ye, Highness. Yeah. Wist thee of Marcus. This. Oh! The time for our departure is long past. Where is Cornelia? Huh. I wish this thing would let me press X to it, but it's not. It's just doing it on its own. Eastern sky sun, it is bright. The ship departs. Never will my love speak false. I must have faith. She shall appear only if I believe. As the sun leaves me, I must instead to the twin moons. Grant me my only wish. <laughs> Bring my beloved dagger to me. Like, let me through. Out of my way, damn you.
survive I didn't have a choice I had to live <laughs> I wanted to come home to you so I sang your song our song wasn't it guys all right I want to thank you all very much for joining me through this quite a crusade here Final Fantasy 9 one of the best video games ever made one of the greatest stories ever told um, perfect mix of comedy drama a little bit of romance a little bit of suspense even a little horror at times. So, I want to thank everybody who's joined me in this video walkthrough of this magnificent game. Uh, I want to thank especially uh, my brother for getting me started on this. And, uh, okay, and I also want to thank my uh, uh, fellow who helped me with some ideas and such. Uh, his name is Van Berman. He has his own YouTube channel as well. That's V A N B U R uh, N M A N, or it's B U R M A N. One of the two. Uh, forgive me some tips and, and such when I'm starting. So, and of course, um, hit the like button if you liked the video. Hit the dislike button if you didn't like it. And of course, subscribe to the Captain Ron Phillips channel. This is only just the beginning, guys. We, this is just the tip of the iceberg. So this is Captain Ron Phillips. Have a good night, guys. Enjoy.